Hi everyone, Nick, the podcast guy here, coming to you from the lands of the Camaragal Nation, and I pay my respects to all elders past, present, and emerging. It is time to unveil the winners of this year's Fab Award, the Favourite Australian Book Award for 2021. Uh, the links to our top 50, which is will be listed as 50 to 11, have been unveiled on our Instagram stories, as well as on our blog, uh, which you'll be able to check out in the description. We'll have a link to the blog post where you can check out the full list for yourself. But before I announce the 2021 favourite Australian book, I'd also like to announce the inaugural winners of our two new awards, Booktopia's favourite book of 2021 and Booktopia's Australian debut book of 2021. So both of these winners will pick up $5,000 in prize money. First up, Booktopia's Australian debut fiction book of 2021. This award champions an Australian author who made their debut in 2021 and will be given to a debut book in any category, be it fiction, nonfiction, children's, young adults, or lifestyle, as long as it was published in Australia in 2021, in the past 12 months. The inaugural winner of Booktopia's Australian debut book of 2021 is a funny and heartwarming Indigenous queer YA novel set in a rural Australian community about a 17-year-old boy named Jackson finding the courage to explore who he is, even if it scares him. Congratulations to Gary Lonesborough for his beautiful YA book, The Boy from the Mish our inaugural winner of Booktopia's Australian debut book. Next up, Booktopia's favourite book award of 2021. So this award champions a book chosen by our very own team of experts as their favourite book of the year. The award will be given only to an Australian author to highlight the amazing talent of our homegrown writers. The inaugural winner of Booktopia's favourite book award is a novel about faith, family, grief, trust, our humanity, and the eternal. It is a love story that extends from Prussia to South Australia, and it is Hannah Kent's beautiful novel, Devotion. Congratulations to Hannah and congratulations to Devotion, the inaugural winner of Booktopia's favorite book award. And now we are onto the part that you are all here for. 2022 saw a record turnout of over 170,000 votes. This right now is the top 10 of the 2021 Favourite Australian Book Award as voted by you. The winner will pick up $5,000 and join our previous winners, 2020's 488 Rules for Life by Kitty Flanagan and 2021's Uncook Yourself by That's What I Reckon in the pantheon of fab winners. Now, kicking off our top 10 on this list comes a dark, thrilling YA fantasy. The first in a brand new series from Lynette Noni, The Prison Healer. This book follows the 17-year-old Kiva Meriden fighting for survival in the notorious death prison Zalandov. It is a beautiful romance and YA story and it clearly resonated with a lot of readers kicking off our top 10. At number nine is a juggernaut of Australian literature. One of our biggest writers known internationally whose books have been adapted by some of the biggest names in Hollywood. Of course, I am talking about Leanne Moriarty and her thrilling new novel, Apples Never Fall, an intense crime slash thriller slash domestic noir slash drama that also contains a lot of tennis. At number eight comes a beautiful, touching and emotional meditation on loss love and everything in between. This is Heartsick from Jesse Stevens, the host of Mamma Mia's True Crime Conversations and Book Club Podcasts. This was a beautiful book and highly recommended by our team as well as by readers. At number seven comes our highest charting picture book of the year and the highest charting picture book on the fab list, a book about the joy of being yourself. Coming from the one and only Jimmy Barnes with Matt Shanks as illustrator, this book is Rosie the Rhinoceros. Number six sees Jimmy Barnes return once again, um, this time with his wife, Jane Barnes, to deliver 
one of the highlight cookbooks of last year, a book filled with food that they love and stories from years gone by. Where the River Bends, recipes and stories from the table of Jane and Jimmy Barnes. At number five on our list, this book sees the culmination of 16 years and seven novels of thrilling adventures and non-stop action. Our highest charting fiction novel of the year, it is none other than Matthew Riley and the end of his Jack West Jr. series, The One Impossible Labyrinth. Nearing the top of the list, we are in the top of the list of the Fab Award and at number four was one of our heavy favorites of the year. An internet sensation, comedian, writer, podcaster, and a tolerator of an intense alter ego named Trish, we have Christian Hull's Leave Me Alone, a memoir of me, myself, and Trish. Taking out the bronze position in this year's Fab Award at number three was one of the dark horses of this year's Fab Award. And it's a book about satisfying one's adventurous spirit close to home. This is a book that really struck a chord with many folks during this pandemic. And this book is The Backyard Adventurer from YouTuber, new dad and self-described oddball, Bo Miles. Our runner up, number two for the favorite Australian book award is a beautiful, touching ode to looking after yourself. This book is about mental health, emotions, mindfulness, but above all, it is hilarious, heartwarming and stereotype breaking. Of course, I am talking about the book from illustration sensation, YouTuber, funny man, shenanigans starter, and all round legend, Struthless, AKA Campbell Walker, your head is a houseboat. Who is at the top of the list for the favorite Australian book award? Which delicious book will be taking home the prize? Well, you won't have to wait long to find out because in a few minutes, you'll be hearing from the champion himself directly. Stay tuned. <laughs> 